Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel Beauty and Inspiration. I'm your host Kendra. Before I get into the video, I always want to thank my subscribers both new and old and I want to give a special shout out to Miss Lady 41. If you have not checked out her channel, please mosey on by there and check her out. She is such an awesome guru here on YouTube. She gives great hauls, great reviews. She does tutorials. She gives great advice. She's really practical. And I really, really, really appreciate the love and support that she gives me. She always comments on my videos. So big shout out to you, Miss Lady. And if you have not checked her video out, go on by there, check it out, and subscribe. Now, let's get into the moment of inspiration. And today's moment of inspiration is going to be coming from one of my favorite my favorite, I should say, scripture in the Bible. If you were to ask me what it is, what my favorite scripture is, this is it. And it is coming from Romans 8 and 28. And it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And let me encourage you on today. Let me inspire you and tell you that whatever you're going through, whether it be good or bad, it is all working together for your good. See, we are quick to hooray and applaud and get excited about the good things that are happening in our lives. And then when the bad things happen to come in our lives, we're crying, we're depressed, we allow them to over, the bad things to overtake us, we're asking why. When we should not, because in fact, the good as well as the bad is coming together and it's working together for your good. And you say, how is that, Kendra? Well, a lot of the things that good, bad things that have happened in my life have happened for a reason or for a purpose. They have served some type of a purpose, whether it's to get my attention, whether it's to um, allow me to learn a lesson in life, or whether it's to simply recognize that God is good and God is great and he can do anything but fail in my life just to simply just to give God a chance to show himself strong in my life and so I have learned throughout the years to give thanks as the Bible say in all things whether it be good or bad because I realize in the end everything is going to work together for my good so instead of asking God why ask God to show you what he's trying to tell you or reveal to you even in the bad times as they say look for the silver lining in the clouds so that is my inspirational moment for today. Know that all things are working together for your good according to his purpose. So that's the inspirational thought of the day. Again, it's coming from Romans 8.28. Read it, study it, meditate on it, apply it to your life, and know that everything you're going through, God is truly working it out for your good. Okay, I got excited. Woo! <laughs> I just love the Word of God because it is so inspiring, and I can spend so much time on that, and no matter what I go through, it's the Word of God that inspires me, that lifts me up, and that just motivates me and helps me to keep on going no matter what. So it is the Word of God that's going to stand when all else fails, and I'm not going to start preaching because I can't, but let's get into this video. Um, I'm going to be doing a look for today, a uh, look for the week. As I promised, that will be one of the video features that I'll do. And today's look of the week, and let me remind you that it is the end of the day. I've had this makeup on all day. I'm going to try to see if I can take some pictures and I'll post them so that you can see. But it is a pink and black look. And let me show you the products I use to achieve that look. Let's start with the eyes. First of all, I use my LA Colors palette. If you saw in the last video, I purchased it in the pinks. It's called Serenade. If I can get it open. And I use this palette. I use these one, two, three. I use these three colors. I use this color as a highlight. And I use a combination of these two colors in my crease. I'm going to be presenting the next eyeshadow color to you in a video haul after this video. So stay tuned for that. But I wanted to show you what I use on my lid as well in combination with the other um, eyeshadow and this is the NKHD eyeshadow which is a high definition eyeshadow that you can get at your local beauty supply store this is item number 3032 it doesn't have a name but it's a very 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 pretty pink and I use that on my lid as well and then in the outer corner of my eye I use this HD, NK 
HD eyeshadow. It is a matte black, and it is item number 3037. And I put that in the corner of my eye. I line my upper lash line with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero, which is black. And for my lashes, I use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. Now, for my cheeks, I use an Avon blush. It's a true color blush called Heavenly Pink, and I put that on my cheeks. Very pretty pink. And for my lips, I lined it with a brown eyeline or brown lip pencil, and I use the NYX, I, um, NYX lipstick in Harmonica, which is a really pretty pale pink as I went for a new lip today. And I topped it off with a lip gloss by Simple Colors called Wink. So that is my look for today. In addition, of course, to my foundation and my... Um, my powder that I set it with and of course I did my eyebrows I filled them in with the brown powder but that is the look for today just wanted to bring that to you and show you like I said I'm going to put some pictures on at the end so check that out um, as always I thank you so much for tuning into the video please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe please leave comments good or bad hopefully they're all good so please leave your comments just a quick update, I'm 35 weeks pregnant, you all. Two more weeks. In two more weeks, I will be 37 weeks, which will be considered full term, and the baby could come at any day or at any time. And then in five more weeks, I'll be totally full term, or I'll be 40 weeks, which is considered totally full term. But I'm just really, really, really excited. I ask that you will continue to pray for us in this journey. We're really excited. We bought the little crib and set it up and everything. So we're just excited, excited and waiting for the bundle, our bundle of joy to arrive. Pretty much at any any time, I feel great. I feel really good. So just please continue to pray for us. I'm going to make sure that I continue to pray for you. As always, you keep it beautiful, and I'll keep inspiring. God bless.